Hello, hello, beautiful people. I'm finally back with another reaction. Um, I very much needed a little, a little break. I've been getting a little burnout with this and my, oh, my nine to five job. Um, so I just needed a little, I just needed a little break. That's all. I just needed a little break. Um, but I am back. We are kicking things off with the ultimate guide to TXT. The original video will be in the description down below. Um, also, we will be having a B2B reaction shortly after this, depending on if it gets <clears throat> uh, take, taken, if you know what I mean, um, if it gets claimed or not. But we should have a B2B reaction right after this. So please do not forget to follow me on all my social medias at CC Renee Music. That is TikTok and Instagram. Um, please do not forget to check out my Patreon as well. Same thing. It is CC Renee Music. Everything will be linked down below. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this guide to TXT. Now, I will say this guide is really, really long. Um, it's about two hours. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the introduction and the, I think they're like their storyline and all of their like albums and stuff today. And then next video, we'll be getting into the members. So that's kind of how we're going to play it for now. Hey, we're cool, right? Together! Juicy Get Boys, the future of K-pop. One of the biggest K-pop acts on the planet. Whoa! It's boys of Gen Z capturing the voice of Gen Z youth around the world. Okay, this is just for me. It's like, make sure to turn on captions, potential spoilers, timestamps. Okay. I know that song. It's the gimme, gimme, more, gimme, gimme, more. It's a TXT tour. are a five-member oh. boy group from South Korea who debuted March 4th, 2019 under Big Hit Entertainment. Mm -hmm. The group's full name, Tomorrow by Together, refers to the dream of these five boys. Subin, Yeonjun, Bomgyu, Taehyun, and Hyunin Kai, who have come together under one dream in hopes of building a new tomorrow. All five members of TXT trained as vocalists, dancers, and rappers. So unlike many K-pop groups, especially at the time, TXT uniquely debuted with no set positions with the exception of Subin as the leader, making oh. them one of the first K-pop groups to adopt a positionless format. Known for their musical storytelling, okay. diverse discography, and incredible performances, Tomorrow by Together has frequently been labeled by the media as the It Boys of Gen Z and the leaders of this new generation of K-pop. However, they have been on a journey to earn such titles. Okay. <laughs> TXT's debut in March 2019 was much anticipated with them being the first group to debut under big hit entertainment after the most successful act in K-pop history, BTS. Yeah. Just to note before we continue, after a process of acquisition and rebranding in 2021, TXT now falls under big hit music, a subsidiary of Hype Corporation. Okay, that's going to be This my question. simply means TXT are now under the same company as groups like Enhypen, New Jeans, 7 Cause see, now this is something I never understood. <laughs> okay. Because I know Big Hit essentially how do I even say this? It's like Big Hit There's the Yon. Um it's but Big Hit was like the start with BTS, right? Um and then TXT came is like oh lord bts is juniors i believe does that make sense okay so that makes more sense everybody's under high but they're under the subunit of high understood got it and others but they along with bts and soloist ihyeon remain as the only artists under the label of big hit music mm -hmm. since november 2018 when big hit announced their plans to debut a brand new boy group Anticipation and expectations for the debut of BTS's little brothers grew significantly. Yep. One, Cut to March 4th, 2019, the debut of Tomorrow by Together. 
TXT's anticipated debut song, Crown, reached an impressive 15.1 million views within its first 24 hours, setting the record for the most viewed fourth gen boy group music video in the. Okay. The little thing it says this record would hold for four years until TXT themselves were the first to surpass it with their with their music video for Sugar Rush Ride, which is oh that's the one that gimme gimme more gimme gimme more. It says they have managed to surpass this record with every Korean comeback since then. The first day, TXT's debut EP, The Dream Chapter Star, performed equally well, peaking at number one on both Korea's Circle Album Chart and Billboard's World Album Chart. The EP also debuted at 140 on the Billboard 200, making T. It says they have since joined BTS as the only Korean acts to chart at least 10 albums on the Billboard 200. Impressively, half of TXT's in entries have peaked in the top five, number five, number four, number one, and then two number threes, um, making them the second Korean artist in history to, to, to achieve five different albums in the top five of the Billboard 200. TXT, the fastest K-pop group to chart on the Billboard 200. While these numbers might suggest that TXT's careers started at an ultimate high, that is not entirely the reality. TXT's first comeback had to be delayed several times due to the members' ongoing health issues. Oh no! While this might not appear to be a big deal, the K-pop industry is fast-paced and highly competitive. Mm -hmm. So extended delays between releases can make it incredibly challenging to maintain momentum and relevance within the industry, especially for a rookie group like TXT. During Dang. this break period, it was clear that the members were worried that their fans would leave them. And while some fans did stay, unfortunately, the members' worries became a reality, as many fans who were tired of waiting for a comeback withdrew their support. This is <laughs> When TXT were finally able to make a comeback, their fan base started to grow again. However, this momentum would not last long, as a few months later, the COVID-19 pandemic placed distance between Dang. TXT and their fans once again. While support for TXT oh, actually right, grew during did, this time, they... oh, the pandemic's man. effects were felt by the members who began to experience the same worries that they had during their debut period hiatus. On top of that, they had to delay critical industry experiences like touring, which left them feeling unsatisfied and isolated once again. <laughs> So while TXT's career may have started at an ultimate high, it was soon clouded by a sequence of uncertainty and doubt. Thankfully, these clouds have now parted, and TXT continues to reach new highs. Good. However, the one thing that has perhaps impacted TXT's journey the most continues to this day. And that is the pressure and hate they got, and continue to get, yeah. for debuting as BTS's little brother group. <laughs> As the biggest K-pop act in history, the narrative of BTS's extraordinary rise from humble beginnings to international stardom has unavoidably cast a long shadow over any future groups associated with their agency. However, none have faced as much scrutiny and pressure as TXT, who were not only the first group to emerge from this legacy, but also the only other group directly under big hit music. Yeah. What many people don't know is that upon being accepted into big hit, 
the TXT members were completely unaware of the advantageous position and subsequent pressure they would experience debuting under the heavy title oh, of BTS's Little Brothers. And I remember, oh, this was a couple, couple years ago? Um, it was a video of TXT covering, I think, Dynamite or something like that. And I saw a lot of people saying things like, essentially they weren't doing a great job because they weren't BTS. Um, and it's like, they're not supposed to be as good as BTS. They're not supposed to be BTS. These guys, th this is TXT. That's who they are. They can take their own, they can take the music and make it their own and cre create a version of what they feel like the music is. That's who they are. I don't expect them to, at least for me, I don't expect them to be BTS because they're not. This is TXT. I expect them to be who TXT is. Especially with the uh, the gum challenge that's been going around lately. I have been, first of all, I've been watching that a lot. How he be hitting that, the, the jump split thing. I, listen, I don't understand it. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's, yeah, they, they, this is TXT. They have their own identity. They deserve their own identity. Yeonjun, who was the first member of TXT to join Big Hit, joined the company in 2014, the year after BTS's debut, at a time oh, when the wow. company was still facing bankruptcy. While Bomgyu, the last member to join Big Hit, joined the company in 2016 before BTS even won their first grand prize. Ultimately, so all five members of TXT works. took a chance on a relatively small company, completely unaware of the future success of their seniors and how this might consequently influence their own idol journeys. That's crazy. The members often speak of their time at Big Hit before it became the large-scale company it is today. There were mushrooms? <laughs> oh, so because of the pressure and the intense trainee period spent together, the members have formed a close brotherhood, which is evident in their interactions and sibling-like dynamic. 동생이 싫다 싫다 하다가도 누가 하나 아프면은 연락 다섯 명에서 다 각방쯤에서 다 오고 다 힘들 때는 진짜 누구보다 제일 차, 잘 챙겨주고 가족이 되는 그런 존재들이거든요. 멤버들을 수식할 만한 표현은 없는 것 같아요. 친구라고 하기에는 그 이상의 것이 있고. 직장 동료라고 하기에도 뭐더 이상일 것이 있고 가족이라고 하기에는 피가 섞였고 소중하죠 못 바꾸죠 
눈에 넣어도 안 아프죠? 아 방송에도 수반차 할 거지? 우리 멤버들 다섯 명이 그대로 모이면은 저는 수반차 할래요 Despite their amazing talent and hard work, many have unfortunately continued to hold prejudices against TXT, suggesting that their success only comes from them debuting as BTS's little brothers. Nah, they worked and while there is no denying that TXT debuted at a privileged position, reducing the entirety of the group's success over the past five years to privilege unfairly kinda, downplays their hard work, yeah. journey, and talent. In an interview with Variety, founder of Big Hit, Hitman Bang, explains TXT's situation well. I think the biggest difference is that BTS truly started from the bottom. People may think that TXT got really lucky and have an easy path, but they have the burden of meeting expectations that have been set. Right. Rookies have a chance to grow and shine when they are still rookies, but TXT started on a higher level, so it's harder to showcase growth. Despite this, TXT is constantly proving how they can meet and exceed these expectations. In an era where many K-pop groups struggle to find concurrent popularity in both international and domestic markets, TXT has distinguished themselves as one of the few K-pop acts managing to achieve significant and balanced success in both. Mm. Now five years on from debut, TXT are consistently surpassing their debut records and making achievements that not only top their generation, but also place them amongst seniors from generations before. The members credit all these achievements to their biggest driving force, their fan base MOA, which stands for Moments of Alwaysness. Ah. MOA also means to gather in Korean, as the ah. members of MOA are gathering together to complete one dream. When turned on its side, MOA also becomes the number 304, which represents March 4th, TXT's debut date. TXT oh, are wow. constantly expressing their sincere love and appreciation for MOA, as the members say they are the only ones who truly understand and acknowledge their journey and hard work. 사실 모아 분들 아니면은 아무것도 아니라고 생각을 해요. 이런 위치 진짜 우리 팬분들께서 만들어 주신 거라고 생각을 해요. 저한테는 멤버들도 있고 음악도 있고 여러 가지가 있지만 대신에 그건 확실해요. 결국에 저희를 완성시키는 거는 팬분들이다. 이 퍼즐 조각이 딱 완벽하게 들어맞는 거는 결국 팬분들이 없으면 있을 수 없다라고 생각하기 때문에 결국 두 번째 바이트기나 이름을 같이 있게 만들어 주는 거는 무조건 모아들이기 때문에. 어. When we're high, when we're low, none of your ten. Oh, but you can't deny no way on me. That's why I'm not so good. So let them say that. Watching the pion and ball, my blues break. Ultimately, through TXT's hard work, talent, and ability to live up to expectations. They have proved themselves and created a distinguishable and unique image that separates them from their senior label associates. What can be said for sure is TXT are certainly a force to be reckoned with in this ever-growing and evolving K-pop scene so say, yeah, they as they strive hard. to create a better tomorrow together. Oh, okay. Discography, okay. TXT is constantly praised for their standout discography. Stand out not only oh, in terms wow. of the quality of their title tracks and B-sides, but also stand out in their dedication to unique and meaningful concepts and sounds that artistically set them apart from other K-pop groups. To use the words of prominent Korean music critic, Kim Young-dae. In a business rife with all kinds of exaggerated concepts and universes, TXT doesn't follow the traditional K-pop formula, yet they have managed to become okay. the most anticipated group of the next generation. Okay. TXT's trainee period focused predominantly on hip hop. In fact, for majority of their trainee period, the members were under the impression they'd be debuting with a hip hop concept. Oh. However, since their debut, they have cultivated an incredibly diverse. Oh, wow. Okay. First discography that differs greatly in genre, style, and concept. Okay, Bubblegum Pop, what is that? I think I heard this one. I actually, I like this one. I like this one. Wow. Okay. Oh, 
It needs to be in a movie. That, that sounds like it needs to be in a movie soundtrack. I've heard this one before. I've heard this one before. Despite these sonic differences, all of TXT's albums are. Oh. TXT's logo evolves with each comeback. The logo evolution shown here is from the Dream, Ch Dream Chapter album series. Connected through an overarching storyline of youth, which transforms okay. their discography from merely a collection of songs into a real life coming of age story. This storytelling element of their music is highlighted as their discography is broken down into albums known as chapters that speak respectively to the evolving okay. experiences and emotions within this core narrative. If you are interested in gaining okay. a more in-depth understanding of TXT's discography and how it has earned TXT the nickname of the Storytelling Idols, we have created a site that provides summaries of TXT's album chapters, oh, wow. as well as links to helpful context, analyses, and... Definitely check that out. Check out this entire channel, too. Like I said, everything will be in the description down below. It's about the comments, too. Accurate English lyric translations. This is linked in the description below. Unlike with their senior label mates, Big Hit has a clear and controlled vision for the narrative of TXT's discography, which has meant that in order to creatively contribute to their music, TXT has to compete with seasoned writers and producers from around the world. Mm, okay. Following different comebacks, the members have often told stories of how songs they have written have been temporarily dismissed by the company oh, because wow. they did not fit within the musical narrative of that chapter. Okay. While many might be disheartened by this, TXT are encouraged by Big Hit to keep these songs to one side for either their solo mixtapes or until they fit within the narrative of their group albums. Okay. Despite Big Hit's strict vision for TXT's discography, there are still several TXT songs that are written by the members, which ensures wow. that the coming-of-age story they are telling is reflective of their authentic voices and experiences. Wow. Only seven months after debut, the youngest member, Kai, set the record for being the youngest idol to be registered under the Korean Music Copyright Association after he helped hey. write the song Roller Coaster for their first studio album. Six months later, TXT became the youngest idol group to have all members as registered songwriters. Oh, wow! With 71 songs in their official discography, TXT's writing and composing credits as of June 2024 are Taeyeon with 24, Yeonjun with 28, Bomgyu with 11, along with three producing credits, wow. Subin with 13, and finally Hyunin Kai with 20, along with two producing credits. Wow! The stars? Oh, this is the storyline, okay. Along with the lyrical storyline that runs through their discography, TXT has an additional storyline known as The Star Seekers, okay. which is a fictional universe that runs through many of their music videos. Many of the themes present in TXT's universe run parallel to the themes found within their discography-based storyline, okay. but the universe incorporates additional elements of magic and fantasy. Okay. Along with music videos, The Star Seekers also includes a short animation film and webtoon. <gasps> really? I need to get back into webtoon. Okay. Were y'all just about to do Drop It Like It's Hot by Snoop Dogg? No, they were not. That's just the note I heard. Ooh, oh, well. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this video is probably long enough. So this will be it for today's video. This is just the introduction so we can kind of, you know, get to know the storyline of them and all, all that kind of stuff. So with that being said, that'll be it for this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one, all right? Bye, guys. Make it move, let your body get no good energy. Make it move, let your body move.